What do you mean, Dad? Well, it's one thing to shoot a missile into the sky. Oh, I know there are a lot of complicated problems involved just getting one of those missiles off the ground. I'm not minimizing the achievement, but it's another thing to... To what, Dad? To, well, to hit something. A target, I mean. After all, it isn't as if that missile had a pilot to point the way. You can't tell me that once those things are off the ground, there's any real control over where they go. Now, I know that. As I listened to my dad, it struck me for the first time. He had seen the missile disappear into the sky, but he hadn't seen it hit anything. And after all, a missile's not much good unless it's placed on target. Excuse me just a minute, Dad. Sure. I can make a phone call. Yeah. Something had occurred to me. It just might work. I knew the project manager was probably back at his desk going over some of the data on the afternoon shoot. He listened to the favor I asked of him and told me it would be okay. Oh, good. Fine. Yes, we'll be there. Thanks very much. Okay, bye. Dad, how would you like to go to a movie? Movie? You see, I can come all the way out here. Not an ordinary movie. Some newspaper editors are visiting White Sands, and they're having an orientation in just a few minutes. I think you'd be interested. Well, why so? They're showing a special film on missile hits. You mean I'll be able to see a missile not only taking off, but hitting something? With your very own eyes, Dad. The orientation's not classified, and the project manager said it would be OK. Have time to finish my coffee? Just about. A few minutes later, Dad and I were in a darkened orientation theater on the post, watching some films. First, we saw a small target set up out on the range. The first missile we were to see in action was the Dart. This is the Army's anti-tank missile, designed for use by frontline troops. Dad stir alongside me. Next on the screen, we saw a bunker, rugged, well built, the kind of enemy strong point that holds up in advance. A squad leader calls for assistance. Behind him, in reserve, is a field artillery guided missile for use in close tactical support of ground troops, the Lacrosse. even a skeptic like my dad sit up and take notice. Next target on the screen, a whitewashed circle. Far back on the range, a team was ready to fire an Honest John, a tactical weapon capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. For this test, the warhead contained only a small amount of explosives. The Hawk. Its target, a QF-80 jet plane. And now, shots of our test 
this afternoon. That afternoon, I had seen the missile go up, penetrate the blue, and that was all. What had happened, I wondered, when the missile had gone out of sight? Now I was to see. High in the sky, a fast-moving plane. After the movie was over, I looked at my dad. It was as though he had suddenly realized something. A basic fact in our missile defense program. The result of tremendous scientific and engineering effort. Missiles not only go up, they hit targets. Daily at the White Sands Proving Ground and other areas, an elaborate all-out testing and development effort is being pushed ahead, not only to put long-range missiles into the air and speed them vast distances, but, if need be, to place their awesome destructive power squarely on the target. Now, this is Sergeant Stuart Queen, your host for The Big Picture. The Big Picture is an official television report for the armed forces and the American people. Produced by the Army Pictorial Center. Presented by the United States Army in cooperation with this station.